that's out of their sons and fools of themselves. They're only judged by God and the fruits that they've dropped. And left there to rot, all the weeds that they grew are never end. They slave the whole human race, making dollars off our fate, while your hands getting stained. And transaction time is all we got left. So count your cards and hold your breath for the fool state of mind. But hey, it's a paycheck, it's a paycheck, God only knows. He should go shoot him. It looks like he has long main beams. It's just his force are broken off. Mm -hmm. It's 8.30. We uh, got an early start to beat some people to a spot up here behind us. And we got beat by two other people, so we backed out and came over to another spot at a different angle and found a couple shooter bulls down here in this bottom and kind of got excited and I don't know what happened. Something, something boogered them. About seven bulls got together and, and, and ran through. We were hoping they were going to come up here below us, but they haven't. And haven't been able to relocate a couple of the bigger bulls. Saw another group of bulls come out. Everything was running this morning, so I don't know if there's some hunters in here. There's people everywhere on all these points, but back to square one, looking for a bull that we want to want to stock. So we'll see how the rest of the morning goes. Completely different from last year, huh? We never saw elk running in here. What do you think? So we just found a bull. I moved over here to get a better look. I could see a, a bull with my eyes looked in. We're looking at him. He's sitting there like looking up at us. It's hard to tell. He's, he looks intact. Looks like he's got a good frame. I can see a pretty good third right now. I don't know about his back end. He's in a pretty good 
spot, so we're gonna sit here and kind of watch him. And hopefully, bed's down. He's in some pine trees, so it'd be it'd be awesome to sneak up on him. You'd be able to see him for a ways. He's probably just turned. He's probably about. A, he's he's not as good as I was thinking, but we'll sit here and see what he does if he lays down and see if my dad wants to go after him. See what uh, what we think. So far he's by himself. We thought it was one of the bulls we've been looking for since this morning, but he's not, so we'll see here in a little bit if he beds down. Come on, dude. Man, they're all acting goofy. Here, he stops behind a tree. You put it here and he steps out. <laughs> He's pretty good. He's cool. I like cool bulls. Cool fronts, cool thirds, fourths. Not much for fifths, but he's a pretty cool bull if he just stopped walking and lay down till tomorrow. We got here and found a 310 bull over here in a great spot and was really thinking about it. My dad caught a glimpse of a big back end, so we've been sitting waiting while it ended up being this bull. Which is good, because he's bigger, cooler. I texted my wife and asked her what she thought, and she said, Nope, you can do better. Give it another day. So, if we see this bull tomorrow, I 
will be back here. We've seen a lot of bulls. And this one is definitely the one that piques my interest the most. You want me to pick you up? You look like an Eskimo. You got my backpack by the Hmm? I feel like I know what fat people feel like. <laughs>
thanks for watching my Arizona late elk hunt. It uh, it was a little different this year. I've had four tags and killed three bulls on these hunts, and this year it was just it was difficult. The, a lot of people have moved into the country we like to hunt, and it's archery huntable country, and they were just they weren't hunting it right. Um, anyways, long story short had a lot of bulls running all over the place bulls were real skittish it was it was just really tough to to find a bull bed them and stock them um, my father was sick part of the time but we had fun we found some big bulls we got on some big bulls they just gave us a slip so we'll get them next time this year Brittany's actually got a late archery tag so we'll be back in the woods in November with her with her bow chasing bulls so pretty excited for that um, also I wanted to give a shirt away so this shirt for this episode is for Jolie Guthrie Jolie says very nice set my seven chase congrats glad you were able to get another arrow in him the next morning that was awesome Few footage of the bugling frenzy gets me fired up for my own upcoming archery bull hunt Jolie thanks for the support really do appreciate it thanks for watching and thanks for the comment Send us an email with your information, we'll get you a shirt. Um, and good luck on your hunt. Super jealous, wish I had an archery tag this year. Uh, you should have a, a good time. So good luck, have fun, carry a camera. So stay tuned, tomorrow we're gonna head to West Texas. We're gonna close this series out with Josh and Chase, Jay and Matt and headed down to West Texas. They're gonna hunt Audad for the weekend. And you don't wanna miss it. Some awesome stuff, maybe they knock down a couple ramps. So I won't spoil it or nothing, but stay tuned. So thanks for everything. We'll see you guys later.